I'm giving you guys all an update. Uh, as you guys know, I'm right around, well, I'm halfway-ish through my pregnancy. I'm like right around 21 weeks, so I'm gonna tell you all about my 20-week ultrasound that happened this week. So, first of all, it was absolutely amazing. Like, we were both just so excited. My husband usually can't get um, can't come to my midwife appointments with me because they're all during the day, which is such a drag. Like, <clears throat> the latest appointment they have is at like 3.30 and he gets out of work at 5. So he'd really have to be taking a lot of time off to be coming to these and I'd rather him save up his time off to be able to spend time with me and the baby once the baby's here. So he doesn't come all that often to my midwife appointments, but he comes to like the really big ones. Like he came to my first appointment ever, and he also came to this ultrasound, which was just incredible. So well, I think the coolest part was we hadn't seen the baby since the baby was seven weeks along in gestation. And this time around, obviously, the baby isn't just like this little like peanut, like it is a baby inside of my belly. Like it was just so crazy. And we considered taking video footage of it, but my husband actually had a really good point and I'm really glad we didn't. And it's because I know way too much because I am a nurse and like I've seen a lot of ultrasounds. And he's like, you would totally be coming home and not even realizing it, but like, parsing it for information about the gender and I was like oh you're so right like I don't want to do that and he's like and you also don't want like family members to be doing that either so we did get pictures printed they were so sweet and they like had a couple really cute snapshots of like the face and stuff that they were able to print for us but yeah we didn't take any video footage of it I'm glad because I totally would have done that and I would have been so sad if other people were like parsing our video for information about the gender I'm like so we're still in the dark I personally still 100% think that it's a boy, if I haven't already said that. I've thought this whole time that it was a boy, um, I am like a thousand percent convinced. Like, I, I mean, I have thoughts about it being a girl and it like warms my heart and I would love to have a baby girl, but I'm also obviously super excited if it's a boy and I'm just like, that's what I think. And um, so it's been funny because this whole pregnancy, a lot of people have been on Team Girl, like a lot of family and friends have thought it was a girl the whole time. And now, not because they've seen our ultrasound pictures, but now some of them are like flipping over to Team Boy. So we'll have to see what the official verdict is. Sorry, my, I have one curl. <laughs> there we go. Um, so we'll have to see what the official verdict is about, you know, if it is a boy or a girl. And we'll have to find out when I deliver this baby. <laughs> So we went in, uh, unfortunately this day they were running really behind in their ultrasound appointments. So we were sitting around for a really long time and then when we finally got in, things were taking a lot longer because I was right, y'all. This baby is super low. It is like super, super low in my pelvis. Has been, I'm pretty sure from the start. This baby was so low that they couldn't actually see the end of the spine and they have to confirm that the baby does not have spina bifida or any other spine defects before you can be like officially allowed to give birth in the birth center and so I thought that was really funny so like they had me like go pee and like do all these things to kind of like get baby in a better position because literally the end of the spine was like below my pubic bone and they couldn't get the ultrasound on there so that was the only kind of frustrating part but the tech was really sweet. We got a really good tech and she was like amazing at pointing things out to us that even I wouldn't have really like gotten. And she was really sweet about this because I'm sure normal parents would have been like, you can't see the spine. Like that's kind of a scary thought to have. Um, but she was wonderful. She was like showing us, she was scanning back and forth and she's like, you can kind of see it as I'm doing this ultrasound live, but I can't get a good picture of it. And the radiologist, needs, or the OBGYN, whoever reads this, needs a picture of the whole spine. <laughs> so she's like, so I'm sure your baby doesn't have spine bifida, like you don't need to worry, but we might have to have you back for another ultrasound if they don't like what they're seeing and they can't get a good picture of the spine. So kind of a frustrating thing because we really are trying to limit our ultrasounds. So I was like, great, another like random ultrasound that we have to have that I really don't think is all that important right now because um, we know everything is okay. Um, 
So it was amazing the second she put like the, the wand on me, you could instantly like see everything and you could see the baby moving like the whole time that this baby is super active. She even said, she's like, this is one of the most active babies I've ever seen. <laughs> and so that was amazing. She also said, I have a posterior placenta, which is really cool. Um, that means that like my placenta is literally in like the, the back basically and the baby is in the front. So baby's like right up against my skin and that's why I've been able to feel baby like super, super early. Like I felt flutters way before people say that you should feel flutters. Like I think it was around 12 weeks or so that I started feeling, I think it's early as like 10 weeks, I started feeling like weird feelings down there and then by 12 weeks it felt a little bit like popcorn popping in my belly. And then from there on it was like clearly baby kicking and moving and whatever. And that is super early for that to be happening. And it's because I have a posterior placenta, so baby's smushed right up against my skin, and so I can kind of feel everything that's happening there. <laughs> so I thought that was really funny. Um, let's see, so we got to see obviously like all the parts of the baby, and then we told her we don't want to know the gender of the baby, so when you get down there, can you let us know so we can turn our heads and not see? So she was really sweet, and a couple times she had to go down there, so we had to turn our heads and, you know, not look. And it took so much discipline to not do that, but I'm just so excited to have a surprise and not know, um, you know, what the baby is going to be. So, so that's really exciting. And um, she zoomed in on, like, the profile and everything, and so we got to see the little face, and it was just so amazing. Um, we were like, oh my gosh, like, I think the baby has, like, my chin, because my chin's a little bit more, like, I don't know, pronounced, and my husband's a little bit more flat, so we could see, like, oh, the baby's got my chin, and then we saw, like, we're pretty sure the baby has my husband's nose, because my nose is, like, a little bit bigger than his is, and so I was just like, oh my gosh, it was just so amazing to see, and you can see the little lips and everything, and it was just so perfect, and, um, oh, some of the other cool things she said was that the baby's, um, the baby's hands were big, and the fingers were really long in the baby and so I thought that was really funny because I have really I have big hands for someone my size and for a female like I've just I have really really long fingers like in nursing school I'm sure some of you guys will appreciate this if you're uh, in a profession where you have to wear gloves but in nursing school I always had to wear like the large size gloves and they were always out of them and or they didn't have them because they just assume like you know, some sexist thing that, like, most nurses are female, and of those females, everyone has tiny hands, and it's like, no, I have long fingers, so I need <laughs> long gloves, and, um, <clears throat> it was also funny because in nursing school, when you're doing a sterile procedure, you have to wear these really tight-fitting sterile gloves, and they come in these, like, kits, and <laughs> whenever you open up the kit, they're like a size seven or something is the average, and I would always need to like bring in my own sterile gloves that were like bigger than everyone else's. So I thought that was so funny that the baby has my fingers and really long fingers, and so I thought that was really sweet. And the baby's already measuring big. I forget what she said was the actual size of the baby, but I remember her saying the baby's like a week and a half like bigger than average babies, their gestation or something, which is so amazing. I know people freak out about baby size, but I'm just amazed and in awe and wonderful. So wonderful that the baby's big and healthy and growing. And so like, how could you not be amazed by that? And so it was just so cool. And like the whole time baby was moving and it was just so amazing to see like this little creature inside of me just like wiggling around and swimming and everything. And so just so incredibly amazing and wonderful and yeah we were just so excited to see the baby so uh everything looked good i did get the official report back everything looked beautiful but they are gonna have to have us scheduled for yet another ultrasound just to see the bottom of the spine so they're like they reassured me it won't be a long ultrasound this one was really really long because they had to look at every single part of the baby which um, always, you know, makes me nervous because we are trying to avoid <laughs> ultrasounds, but I was like, this is the one where I just have to let them do their thing, and that was that. But, so I am scheduled for another ultrasound, which will be coming up, I think, in like a week and a half or something like that. Um, I'll have to double check when, when that is. But, so, and they're just going to look at the bottom of the baby's spine. Hopefully baby will be in a better position by then, or will have grown enough where they can, like, see everything they need to see. Um... 
but yeah, that's it for now, guys. Like I said, I'll insert a picture. I inserted one before, but um, I'll put any other pictures I have um, at the end of this video. And I'll also include a bump shot <laughs> because I am definitely starting to get bigger and bigger. And um, that's it for now, guys. And